Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. The purpose of today's video is to look at customer adjustments and how to use them. Please bear in mind that the following video is more of a guideline rather than a step-by-step -step guide. Adjustments are used to make corrections to a customer account. When dealing with bank updates and payment allocations in Sage 1, the process is relatively straightforward but rather time-consuming. However, certain clients use specific payment references like Wi-Fi payment, wireless and install. These payments are initially directed to the unallocated customer receipt section in Sage 1 until we receive payment proof from the customer, who might understandably be concerned if their payment isn't allocated correctly. If this issue is identified before the period is closed, the allocation can be rectified. If the billing period has already been closed, a customer adjustment might be necessary. We won't be focusing on Sage 1 in this video as it will be explained more in depth in the billing module. So for now, let's navigate to the Adjustments page by hovering over the Billing tab and then clicking on Adjustments. So let's create an adjustment. First click on the Create Adjustment button. In the purple block, you can choose the applicable customer. Once you've chosen the customer, his or her age analysis will automatically pull through. In the blue box, you will see the customer reference and description. This is important. First choose a reference that is applicable to why you are doing the adjustment and then in the description field you can explain or give a reason for the adjustment being made. At the red box you will be able to choose the date of the adjustment, the account that it is affecting and the VAT type that is applicable to your adjustment. In the pink box, you will see the total amount that is applicable to your adjustment. It is important to remember that if you want the specified amount to decrease, you must add a minus in front of the amount. If you want the amount to increase, only type the amount without adding any symbols. When you finish filling all the details, click on the Create Adjustment button. If you do not come right, please watch the video again or look at Adjustments Manual found in the description box below. So that's the end of this video. If you found it helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more valuable tutorials. Thank you for watching.